ancient technology. So as you can see here, I am using a copper uh, tube, copper pipe. The idea is to try to drill a hole in it by hand. I don't know why it's stacking up like that. There we go. By hand. This is a uh, four times the speed. You see, trying, and of course this would be. I don't like it, so I, of course this would be faster or better if I if I actually had power behind it instead of just rough hands, right? Now the thing is, the copper pipe obviously by itself won't cut the granite. In reality, it's actually cutting, you know, and, and it's bending the, the daylights out of the uh, copper tube. So we're going to introduce a brace of, right? So yeah, I get some some wood sticks, right? some wooden sticks, some branches. Get some, I went and left and went and got some water and um, some olive oil. Um, so those I can have two different types of um, lubrication. Um, that's it. I, uh, well, I went and got cooking oil, like vegetable oil, but the idea was is to uh, this probably froze. Um, I went and got um, olive. Went and got cooking vegetable oil instead of olive oil. I didn't actually have the olive oil. I didn't mean to buy some for experimenting purposes. But interesting enough, the vegetable oil is good enough because it's just the concept of like oil versus water and how I need to double check. Okay, let's see what the other there. So. So there's the, the container water over there. So I must be getting the oil. Okay, well, somehow there's a time skip. I'm trying to make this video fast, but at the same time, the irony is that it's messing up. I don't know why it's messing up. Uh, so there's oil in that cap. The video's supposed to have shown me put the oil in there, but it's cooking the oil in there. So so a little oily in there. You see on the table there's little clumps of sand. Yeah, that I'm trying to show. Maybe I'll take it out four times speed. Right. I just skip through some stuff. That's a four times uh, this regular speed. Anyway, so I'm trying to uh, drill into it. Not too far, just, just enough to show that hey, you can take a couple millimeters off of the granite using a stick and sand either using the oil or the water because it helps you stick the um the sand onto it so i'm blowing on it trying to get as much of the sand and stuff off it so that we can kind of see the markings so i have the pipe metal copper pipe mine so i'm thinking this was yeah i think i skipped a couple of seconds so what happens all right so let's see move it this way so you see i'm using stick i'm trying to show oops See, moving stuff, I'm trying to show the stick, uh, you know, some of the markings that I made. So, there you see the whitish marks from when I, or where I scratched the granite using uh, sand. And sand, of course, has quartz. So, basically, it's quartz, a brace, a brace, basically. So, here's the copper pipe, and I'm going to dip it in the oil, and then I'm going to dip it in the, in the sand. So, that way, the brace up sticks to the copper. So this is how you can put sand on a copper tube and then use it to, you know, drill. So of course I'm going to try to do the drill thing, I drill a hole. So I can skip a couple of seconds right there. There's still ways to skip a couple of seconds ahead. Change the time. Yeah. Let's see, okay. Two seconds. That's a hot seconds, minutes. Alright. Let's see, so I'm still trying to work on it. Here's me back to the stick. All right, so sorry that I wasn't able to show because in the in the full clip I do have it. Like this, I'll post this on TikTok and then on YouTube I'll post the this unedited version. We we can you know we can we can see the full thing. I'll probably put it like at the end. I'll probably just put it like at the end of the video or something, where you can see it in the full effect of what I was doing. But right now I just want to be able to explain a couple things. Like see right there, how there's like a groove there. The original wasn't there, so there's a bit of a groove there. So I was able to. Um, grind down with the sand and a stick as you can see what I'm using there is a stick a little tree branch right and I'm just using the, the stick and the shape of the stick itself is like you know, cylinder like round so it will give a roundish uh, shape you can see I dip it in the water dip it onto the, to the sand and you see the sand clumps onto the stick which is the idea to help you get the sand onto the stick which lets me use the stick and with the sand as a file or a uh, you know sand stick or whatever you want to call it right? or a cutting tool 
you can see I put the stick on there to show that you know I am creating a groove and you see I'm moving it to show that there is something there that it's not a flat surface anymore that clearly I did groove in there right I did create a stick shaped groove I tried to move it around I guess I know I tried to move it uh, soon I'll be doing it I'm obviously still cutting it trying to get a deeper deeper cut in there and I eventually will try to show like the little groove from the side from each side of the log and think about this this is what a stick stick sand water and, and, and hand by hand this is what a lot of archaeologists have to try to say even if they were like oh yeah it wasn't just copper pipes or uh wooden tools or uh, copper tools and stuff you know they obviously use abrasives and this and that like I coolly acknowledge that obviously they need something more than just copper to cut granite the thing is even with with the sand which is the thing nobody who talks about technology disagrees with an abrasive or you know something that can cut granite was used what they disagree on it was done by hand like you see here i'm trying to do it by hand you see i'm trying to show you a little bit of like how the groove trying to show how there's clearly an indentation there a little valley from one side to the other side so you can kind of see right there because originally that was that was flat but now i kind of have a groove in there you can kind of see the wider see i put it in there see, like there's a clear groove there because that's what i was doing was, now if i keep doing this for like a couple hours a couple days <laughs> I will end up cutting through this this piece of um, granite, which I'm not going to do. Obviously, I, got, I have things to do, but it's the idea that like that process is does it work? Yes. Is it the best process? Uh, no, <laughs> not the best way to do it because it takes so long. So, me being a smart human being that I am, I would rather work smarter than harder. So, I will try to find something different. So, you see here, I'm going to try to use the copper pipe to you know continue. You know, I'm trying to find a different spot. I'm like, I want to cut in the same spot because that doesn't prove anything there, um, per se, right? So, the idea is like, right, let me find a different spot and use the copper pipe with the same concept and try to, you know, do the same thing. Um, like here, oh, there was just, that might be the same spot that I was already cutting with the stick. And I'm just scraping away, showing that the copper pipe was at a different spot. There's a different spot. So at least I'm trying to cut through there. So there's the continuation part two. The video. This one marks. I forgot what this was from. Oh yeah, this is when I started using the, the quartz crystal. So I brought quartz crystal into play. So I brought quartz crystal into play, and I start grinding it. And you can see immediate results. So immediately started cutting in. So of course I'm trying to drill it. Trying to take as much as I can. Try to get deep as I can. That's what she said, or he said. A little bit further. So I start messing around with it a little bit. And I'm trying to extend the. Well, that was the drilling on one stop. Now I'm trying to cut a line. I'm trying to cut a straight line. So how I was doing like a, a hole, drilling a hole, or an indentation at least. And then now I'm trying to create a cut, right, a straight line. So that's what I'm doing there. Let's try to cut a straight line. You can, you, know, you can see a white line, right? I'm scratching, you know, back and forth as much as possible. Kind of trying to saw my way into the granite. Just a little bit further. So do a, trying to do a close up with the corners. So I picked a corner to mess around with and as you see I can cut it you know, not a deep cutter obviously but still a cut nonetheless and I'm gonna you know, keep cutting it and keep messing around with it and I was like okay I want to cut more I want to to, I'm gonna try to cut around let's see if it really matters so I'm gonna try to cut around so I'm trying to make like a ring right a ring so I'm trying to cut around that corner I'm trying to make like a ring so I can clearly see that I could potentially, if I keep this up, could potentially cut that corner piece off. That's one way to simplify the process of cutting something. It's not to cut just on one side, but to cut the other side or any side you can you, you, you can you know access and try to cut around, and that will slowly, slowly, you know, that just will literally cut your cutting time in half. Because if you're cutting one side and the other side at the same time, same amount of time, double the work, right? So if you have like two saws cutting at the same time, you'll cut twice as fast as opposed to just using one saw, right? So. So if you have one person cutting up uh, a you know, piece of granite on one side and another person cutting on another side, or have four people, one on each side of a granite piece cutting at the same time, that will cut that piece a lot faster than if it was just one person trying to cut from one side all the way over to the other side. Having four people cutting at the same time will you know, decrease the, the, the workload. Plus, you, you'll be able to weaken the, the block or the piece enough that you could break it off. Because that's the thing, if I keep doing this for like maybe an hour or two, I should get to the point where I could just literally just, you know, um, pop it off by hand or... Maybe hit it with, with, a, with another rock that have literally a bag of rocks back there um, and hit it with a rock and then boom, the piece will break off because I already weakened it enough that it will, that will be the case. As you can see, I was able to cut around. 
you can see it was definitely cut. And all I'm using is quartz crystal. Quartz crystal. This is red granite, by the way, for those who don't know. This is red granite. Got it on Amazon. Bought a small bag of red granite. It's like, well, I need red granite in order to practice cutting granite. I want to see how hard granite is. And it definitely is a little tough. So it is good building material because it is tough. Um, I have used like a, a iron, an iron nail before to, to cut and stuff, and it does work. Um, copper pennies. Obviously, you saw me use the copper pipe earlier, and it doesn't work as well. And, uh, so an iron or steel nail def or tool definitely works. Um, but not as effective, ironically, not as effective as the quartz crystal. Of course, crystal is way more effective. So that's why I uh, made a video a long time ago about like quartz crystals is the ancient ancient humans, you know, diamond diamond tool, right, or diamond material. Because of you know the poor man's diamond, the poor man, the ancient poor man's diamond, basically. Because it's like a lot of people like to say, oh, ancient humans didn't have access to diamonds, so they couldn't create diamond tip tools, you know, and do what we do. It's like okay, okay, let's go with that idea. I don't agree agree with it. I don't believe they didn't have access to, to diamonds. They would have figured it out eventually. But okay, let's let's go with they they never discovered um, diamond. So what else could they use? Well, once you understand, you know, the mole hardness scales, right? You understand, you know, the, what what red quartz is. It's it's an amalgamation of, of of granite. I mean, I mean, I meant to say quartz and other materials, but mainly quartz is, is largely part of the structure. You understand? Okay, quartz can be scratched by quartz or anything higher. So a quartz crystal. Let's try quartz crystal. And I proved proved it before. Here's a new video of me using a quartz crystal. And you can see it, you know, easily cuts. So it's a lot of fun. I prefer to use a quartz crystal to work on the granite than to try to use the whole sand stick or sand copper method. Everybody else loves to say, that, oh no, they use, they use copper tubes, copper tubes, and sand and water. And it's like, that is possible. I have tried it and it does work a little bit. It's tedious, but it does work. But just because it works doesn't mean it's the best method. And then you see, I show you with, with, a, with a quartz crystal and how quickly I get results. Of it. I don't have to force it as much. That's the thing. I don't have to apply as much pressure. It doesn't take that much time for me to chisel away uh, or to cut away or grind away, you know, a couple of millimeters worth of granite. So imagine if I use uh, some type of water wheel to spin a uh, quartz crystal tipped, you know, wooden drill bit, right? And, and drill it into granite in less than an hour or even less than 30 minutes, I should be able to, you know, drill a, a significant hole into the granite using a water wheel with, you know, attached to a freaking, um, you know, quartz crystal. And the fact that Egypt does have a lot of quartz crystals for those who are like, oh no, Egypt don't have crystals. It's a desert, like they do. They have white crystals, uh, white quartz crystal to be exact. I use, uh, I think it's called clear quartz, transparent quartz crystal, whatever, but they have white quartz crystal, which I was meaning to buy like, you know, a bag of it from Amazon so I can see the difference between white quartz and the clear quartz that I have. Right? So I have, you know, why not have different types of quartz and see the, the you know, how, the, how they work on, on granite because white quartz is probably way better, um, cuts way smoother, I guess, more consistent, it's probably rougher. So we don't know. Until I get the white quartz and test it out, we don't know if the white quartz is better. But right now, just the quartz that I have already works, right? So that's already the point. It already works. So one reason why it's like, yeah, ancient humans more likely will use uh, uh, quartz crystals, especially with quartz crystals, you can find them pretty much anywhere in the world. Like I've seen videos of people like, oh, we're, we're going quartz crystal hunting, and they'll just go to certain random places and find a whole bunch of quartz. They're like, oh, this looks like a place where there'll be quartz. And a lot of times it's white quartz or the clear quartz like I have. Um, they have other types like pink quartz, and the list goes on rose quartz or something, I guess they call it. So you get the idea that's like that, but here's the other thing. I didn't do it yet, uh, in this video, but I did it in a video before, where I took a piece, a piece of the right granite that broke up. And ironically, in, in this recording, I did break a piece. I dropped it on the floor, and I'm just too lazy to pick it up. <laughs> but, uh, I could have used it and recorded me um, using it and drilling. Because I could have sticked it into the into the copper pipe and then, you know, used it as a, you know, as a proof of concept, right, to prove that, yes, all you need is, a, is something like a copper pipe, for example, with, with a quartz crystal at the end of it attached to it, and then use it as a, uh, you know, drill, like a quartz crystal drill bit, and then you can drill. Um, but it, will, it won't be the crystal, it'll be the granite. You can do crystal quartz, obviously, but you can get a chunk of granite. That's the thing. You can take a piece of red quartz, I mean, red granite, and then cut the red granite. And I've done that. I've tried, like, hey, what would happen if I use the granite, the red granite I have, to cut the red granite? Would it cut it or not? And it does. It does cut. Um, it doesn't last that long because um, the red granite you're cutting um, cuts back, as they say, cuts back the red granite you're using. So, yes, they do cut each other, but that's the thing, they cut each other so they won't last that long. Now, from what, I, what I've been testing with, the red granite does not fight back as much against the, 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 the quartz. Um, because the quartz has more quartz in it, because it's solid quartz, while the red granite has bits and pieces of quartz. So the fighting back is is a losing battle, right? So, but if you use granite, like red granite versus red granite, you will cut. But the the tool, the red granite tool you're using, will also be damaged in the process of you using it. But it will work. But it will won't last that long. Is what I'm trying to say. But so far, from what I've seen, uh, the quartz crystal does last longer. It does over time eventually start deteriorating. It. There's a limit. I mean, you know, there is quartz in the granite, so it will slowly start withering away and wearing away. Uh, your, your, your big chunk of quartz crystal, but because it's a big chunk, it'll take longer for that to happen. So this is my scientific experiment. I've actually did the work. I've actually done the stuff. I've actually practiced. I just recorded me using basic primitive tools, whatever you want to call it, right? And to mess with red granite, and I've done some damage. So yes, it is possible to use sand and sticks and water and, and, and quartz crystals. Uh, to a certain degree, you use a copper tube, but it's as, as you saw, it wasn't really that useful. It, it, with sand, it 
did something, but it, again, it was more tedious. It was like, it was too many, it's unnecessary steps. It's like, the, what you have to understand what it takes to make a copper pipe in the first place. And I'm like, to create copper pipes in ancient times, even, even if you consider ancient humans primitive, to create a copper tools is not a primitive thing. What's primitive is me finding a quartz crystal in the ground and then using it as a, as a tool, using it as a way to cut and, and, and carve things. It's like me finding a sharp uh, a rock and then using it to carve wood. That's literally what I've done. I, I have sharp rocks here and I've cut some wood with it. Um, so I've done some some little wood carvings just for proof of concept. Like, yeah, a nice sharp rock, you can use it as a knife, as a saw, right? And the same process goes for a quartz, um, you know, for a uh, quartz crystal uh, cutting, you know, cutting quartz, uh, cutting red granite, I mean, cutting red granite, right? Or, or any type of granite is finding something that's strong enough that can cut it. And so far, a solid piece of quartz definitely works, even if it's not diamond. It doesn't have to be diamond. It just has to be equally as tough or tougher. If it's tougher, it lasts longer. So yes, if you had diamond um, tip tools or just a piece of diamond and you attach it to a stick and use it as a diamond drill, yeah, it will last longer than if you use a quartz crystal because the diamond's way stronger, um, you know, most hardness scales, they say, than the red granite or the quartz in the red granite. But if you don't have diamond, quartz crystals is, is your poor man's diamond, right? As I was trying to say. So if I was ever lost in the woods somewhere and I needed to, to carve stone, especially gra red granite, it's like, damn, I really need to carve out a cup out of, out of this red granite. Then the way for me to hollow it out and make a hole in it so I can use it as a cup would be using a quartz crystal. I'm definitely not using no, trying to do no copper tube because to make a copper tube requires fire and, and, and copper ore and I have to smith and a certain level of heat and like so much skill involved in copper tubes. So I respect the idea of anyone that creates copper tools. If ancient humans created copper tools, well, they definitely was advanced because they had copper tools. Copper, copper is not, especially a copper tube, let alone a copper, copper knife or something, pretty advanced. I've even had the idea of like, if I, if I find like a copper ore, I should be able to heat it up just enough to bash it with a rock and smooth it out and just make a slightly sharp edge. It'll be just like a sharp metal rock. That's all it would be, a sharp metal rock. And it'd be more than enough as a knife, right? As a copper tool. I wouldn't fashion it into something really fancy, especially not no freaking copper tube. That'd be way excessive. That's way too much work to, to, to make a copper tube when I could just use the copper ore itself and just sharpen it a little bit, rub it against a rock enough to, long enough until it sharpens as a nice sharp, you know. So that's what I would do. Because um, it's much simpler instead of doing the more advanced thing of smithing and literally creating copper tubes. So that's why they all oh, use copper tubes. They use copper tubes like maybe, but that just leans more towards technology than primitive tools because there's nothing primitive about copper tubes, copper pipes. I didn't make these pop copper pipes. I bought them on Amazon. Right, um, the quartz crystals. They weren't made not by men. You can just find them in, 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 you know, in the ground. And somebody found them, put them on Amazon. I bought them. Same thing with the red granite. It was found in nature. Somebody found it and sold it to me. Right. So it's the irony that I bought these things. Right. So the point is that they're, they're natural things. Things we can get for free, but I pay for them. Right. The irony in that. But it's just like if you can just find stuff naturally and just work with it, boom, you can create some amazing things. But I just hate when people try to make things out to be a lot more than it really is like oh copper pipes that's what they use copper tubes copper tubes copper tubes it's like uh that's because somebody else told you that's what happened but if you're like me and literally bought some copper tubes and try to mess around with them you realize like yeah the copper tubes by themselves definitely don't do shit um copper tools copper tube with sand does do something but it's tedious and it's like oh this is gonna take long and i have to do some extra stuff i'm gonna need some weight i need a specific amount of rotation so i need to, to spend a certain amount of time like so much more that is needed for using a copper uh, tube would it be much easier primitively, it'd be much easier, faster, and more primitive to just use uh, a piece of red granite as, as, a, as, a, as a drill bit or at the tip, uh, at the tip of like a saw, at the edge of a saw, right? Or use um, use a red, you know, a, a quartz crystal, you know, by hand. Use it with your bare hands and chisel it away, right? You know, I was pushing and scratching with the quartz crystal. If I could use it like a chisel, just hold it, especially if it's a big long piece, hold it like a chisel and then just bash it with a wooden mallet at one end and just chisel, 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 right? So I believe ancient humans use quartz crystals like chisels to do a lot of the, the main cuttings. But then when they wanted to smooth everything out, that's where the sand comes in for, for grinding and for polishing, for sand, um, yeah, for polishing. So they mainly use sand for polishing, not really for cutting. Could you go that route? Yes, they could, but it would be a lot more logical to just literally just use uh, quartz crystals at the tip of, of you know, of sticks or, or some type of solid uh, stick-like object and then just twist it, you know, spin it for a long period of time until you get cutting. And that's the end of the video.